some years to come, households that are able should consider covering their bases so that they don't meet unexpected out-of-pocket costs. Nampumelelo Siziba, SABC News, Johannesburg. But well, a number of uh, businesses have been hit by the pandemic and are now on a path to recovery. South Africans have been encouraged to support local business uh, to boost the economy and uh, small businesses. This year's 10th annual Buy Local Summit and Expo will begin tomorrow, the 14th to the 16th of March 2022. The aim is to boost economy and create jobs. Uh, let's take this discussion further then. We're now joined uh, via Zoom by the Chief Marketing Officer of Proudly South Africa, uh, uh, Makumalo Ngiti. A warm welcome to you. Thanks very much for joining us here on SABC News. Please, can we ask that you um, unmute yourself? I think you're on mute. Yes. Uh, take, us through, you so take us through this year's summit and expo. What, what do you aim to achieve, uh, given that you know, most businesses have been so severely hit uh, by the pandemic, and in fact, some have had to shut down? So it's, a, it's really an effort, as much as it's an annual uh, flagship event for us, Flo, I think we are, as, as proudly South African, it's, all, it's also our, our way to try and kick off again. You're quite right. Uh, many businesses have been hit a blow by the pandemic. But even before that, we will remember that the economy was already in trouble. So, so the purpose of this 10th annual Buy Local Summit and Expo hosted by Proudly South African is, to, is access to market for, for entrepreneurs and local businesses. Because it's one thing for somebody to have a great product or a great service, but if they don't have anybody to sell their product to, it defeats the purpose. So, so we're very excited that the Buy Local Summit and Expo is back. Uh, you know, online as opposed to a physical event, but yeah. um, but and it's a free to attend uh, 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 event. But it's a it's a, it's a it's a platform where we put um, in a room, um, you know, plus minus two hundred locally made products, uh, anything and everything you can think of from a lifestyle perspective. Could be you know your DIY products that you need at home to renovate the house. It could be a car that is assembled locally, tiling, you know, bathtubs, uh, clothes, food, furniture in our houses, furniture in our offices, smartphones that we use daily, uh, flat screens, anything and everything you can think of. There is always a local replacement for it for any product that you find on retail shelves. And, 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 I, and really, that's the. Yeah. And I mean, how do, you, how do we, apart from the expo, how are we planning to encourage in general uh, consumers to, in fact, uh, buy local? And the reason I ask this is because, you know, there, there is a perception and it's a warped perception, I, I, I believe, that, you know, I would rather spend X amount of money on, let's say, an American product uh, rather than spend it on a South African product if they are, you know, the same price. Um, just because we, we perhaps see our own goods as of an inferior quality, whatever uh, the reason uh, for that is and, and and should those selling maybe look at their pricing and, and adjust it accordingly or should they not be pressured uh, by these warped perceptions and i don't think it's fair or we don't think that it's fair for you know businesses to be um to be you know to be pressured by 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 that kind of mindset because you know, in all fairness, um, you know, everybody has a, every, every product rather has a market. And, 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 and your purchasing decision as a consumer is informed by affordability. Nobody's forcing anybody to buy anything that they cannot afford. Uh, but, 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 but the argument that, that, that we, 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 um, we, what we want to clarify is the fact that uh, the mindset it's a mindset thing, and it, the, it, there's a perception that locally produced and locally manufactured products are a lot more expensive, yeah. uh, and that's pre, that's relative. You know, there are products out there that are not only are they affordable, they are also good quality products, and they're accessible. And 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 that's where we come in as part of South African to showcase these products uh, that are cons that, that are products that we consume on a daily basis. They are there. Uh, we just have to, 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 you know, to try harder to find them, or at least to deal with the, with the, with the, with the, with the mind shift, uh, because you know, in, in many, uh, many a times, South Africa is, uh, you know, consumers have already decided that the products uh, that are made locally are not, uh, you know, properly priced. 
And, and, and you know, the bi-local movement flow is a tried and tested method the world over. We are no different as proudly South African. Uh, you know, countries out there, they have got their own bi-local movement. They think of their own first. They're very intentional when it comes to their purchasing decisions. And that's exactly what we're trying to ask South Africans to do. It must start to feel flow like, you know, if you don't purchase anything local, whether it's within a space of a day, a week, uh, a month, or whatever the case may be, it must start to feel like we've done something wrong. Because if we don't buy locally produced products, who must buy them for us? If we don't take care of our own economy, nobody's going to come and rescue us. You know, it takes all of us to make a conscious decision to, you know, and understand the economic impact there is when you buy just one product, one product that is made locally. You're, you're, you're it's essentially helping to keep somebody in their job. Yeah, and not only that, you are helping to sustain the jobs that we have, but you're contributing towards, uh, that translates into um, not only value chain, but also households. A lot of households are then taken care of by your purchasing decision. And I think that's an important pa point you, you've made in terms of the economic impact, in terms of it trickle trickling down, um, th that you are contributing uh, to, to employment. I mean, uh, I mean, if we look at the employment figures at the moment, they are quite scary. Employment being really rife uh, uh, right now. And I wonder if, you know, those uh, who do purchase, when we, when we buy, uh, if we do bear, bear that in mind, I mean, I'm sure you've looked at some of those trends. Is that something that a person who's purchasing uh, a product thinks about and says, you know, let me go for the South African option just because I'd like to make a situation better in my own country. Is that something that consumers do kind of have in the back of their mind somewhere? You know, in the past five years, we've seen a shift. We've seen uh, that many South Africans are now have an appreciation of what it means when we say that it's not just a, a saying, you know, that local is lacquer, but what we mean, what is the economic impact uh, you know, that there is when somebody purchases local. So there's a bigger appreciation. There's a whole movement. I mean, if you uh, if, if, if you look at what is happening in the public domain in, in, in South Africa, we see a lot of products that are that are really being appreciated uh, by many South Africans. You know, the clothing, textile, uh, footwear and leather, you know, you, you, you find clothes and sneakers and accessories and, uh, you know, locally assembled cars that, you know, there's a, a, you see pockets of the communities uh, starting to uh, warm up to the idea of buying local. In fact, through a research that we did not so long ago, uh, we did find out that South Africans are saying they have no qualms, no problems, uh, you know, supporting local if they understood the economic impact there is when they do that. And, and which then brings me to my reality that uh, it's going to take more than just proudly South African as a campaign. This is supposed to be a national movement. Yeah. Uh, whether, whether, you know, we're sitting in the public sector, private sector, or just ordinary consumers, I think we're of the view that this is a campaign that should be backed up by both, you know, uh, the public sector, the private sector, you know, to ensure that every time you drive down our roads on billboards, you see the buy local message. You turn on your radio, local content on radio is about buying local, switch on your television sets. It's, lo you know, buy local movement on television. Everywhere you go, it, it needs to start to be, it, it needs to start to feel like uh, it's part of our DNA. You know, it, it needs to start talking to every South African, irrespective of where they may be in the country. Uh, and, and, and by doing that, um, you know, our economy will be in good standing. Uh, we will start to deal with, uh, you know, uh, social ills and also, you know, the persistent um, uh, unemployment, poverty and inequality. It's going to take a national movement uh -huh. to make the difference that we would all like to see as a people. All right. Well, it's been a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you very much uh, for giving us uh, your time. And uh, indeed, good luck uh, with uh, the uh, summit and uh, the expo. And uh, we hope that all uh, does indeed uh, go well. Makuma Longiti is the Chief Marketing Officer of Proudly uh, South African. Thank you. Thank you so much, Flo. Thank you for the time. You